Alright everybody, thanks for coming. Uh, we'll get started here as usual. Please let me know on the chat if you have a question. So I can call on you. Um, Coach, we will start with an opening statement from you whenever you're ready. Uh, well, I'll keep it short because there's not much going on, obviously, with the, with, with the past game, stuff like that. But um, last few weeks, uh, our last few days have been uh, obviously a little disappointed in last, last week, not having a chance to play. But again, I think I put, I put out there, I understand that the circumstances we're in um, and the health and safety of our players and coaches and staff remains that priority. So um, we've got to control, control um, as a group. We had some good opportunities uh, following that to get some good walkthroughs and some work done together. Uh, plan is to be ready whenever uh, with whoever's available. And so uh, we had a good day today, and now we prep for a good Wyoming team, uh, well-coached team that's done a really nice job um, over the past few years in this conference, and, and uh, they'll be a feat, so they've done a really good job. So um, nothing too uh, crazy in regards to that. That's pretty much it. We've done, had a good week and uh, a good few days with, with the guys we've had, and uh, we're pressing on. All right, thank you. We'll start with Tyler Bishop. Last week, you guys said the uh, number of positive tests was four. Uh, what is that number at now? Um, we're at three. I think one got back today. And then as far as the, like contact tracing, are the guys that were out or would have been out because of contact tracing, how quickly did they come back or are they able to come back? No, you're well. You're aware how it works, right? The two, uh, the two weeks? Exactly. Two weeks. Yeah, contact tracing. So they get wiped out for a certain amount of days. So we won't have some guys back for uh, quite a few time, quite a quite a bit. And then you've got certain symptom guys. If if guys have symptoms yet, maybe not in contact tracing, that's another that's another load of guys. So you were looking at last week about forty nine guys. Um, this week we hope that obviously um, doesn't go that route. We've got a, a few more guys back, um, but got to make it work. And then just how has practice or walkthroughs look the last few days with the guys you do have? Scarce. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Go to Jason Orts at Derrick Gate. talked about some of the stuff you're able to get done. Um, when you're in a, in a situation like that, like what are you looking at the most and what are you trying to uh, get out of what you can do? You're just trying to be as uh, creative as you can got a small group uh, it's hard to practice against each other so you end up servicing each other but it's hard to do that too because you meant then you're minimized on the reps um, having a certain amount of one position doesn't allow you to have a scout team for the defense to maximize their reps because all those guys are servicing the offense so it's it's a uh, it, it, you just you just run short on reps, and because the guys just can't take 80, you know, 65, 80 reps in a in a practice all at once because you're look, trying to do both sides of the ball in one field. So it's hard. But you got to get creative. You got to find opportunities for it, and uh, opportunities to get better. Individual individual periods, lots of great meetings, a uh, chance to slow it down at certain points of, of practice. But um, got to get creative. They're not canceling the game yet, so we're practicing. And that was actually my next question. Just how confident are you? I know it's Monday, the game's supposed to be Friday. How confident are you that you guys will get back out there this week? I don't control that. Thank you. Let's go to Jesse Merrick at Channel 3. Hey Marcus, uh, you know, after the game got you know postponed, canceled, or whatever, uh, did you guys kind of just dive right into prep for Wyoming, or did you maybe treat it almost kind of like a bye week in terms of your prep, or what do you, what do, you do going in that situation? Well, we went right back to work. We had practice the next day. Um, we moved forward with kind of working against each other uh, because you hadn't had a chance to turn over the Wyoming film that you didn't know you were playing Wyoming, um, that that game was canceled. Then you're going to, you got a lot of things have to do prep wise before you get out and start planning for a next team within whatever that was, eight hours. We had to practice the next morning. So um, we took the opportunity to service each other, which was good, put some stuff on there that, that we think could carry over. Um, and then we had some opportunities to do walkthroughs and, and stuff like that on, on uh, Friday and Saturday that just gave us any sort of element of preparation we could get. But was it kind of like a, like a self-scout little period right there when you talked about servicing each other there? Yeah, like we'd uh, like self-scout. Yeah, you basically would run service each other. That The defense would want certain looks. We could give them, provide them within our offensive structure and 
we'd have, they'd have certain looks within their defensive structure without saying this is exactly what they do because you don't know yet. So give us a certain look. We, we need to work on this. We need to work on that. So I guess kind of like uh, what was like the biggest thing you got out of that little space of time before you dove into you know, prepping for Wyoming? And, and how did you kind of turn that into a positive in a sense for more prep or anything like that? Well, it's another opportunity to work. I mean, it's another 45 to 50 walkthrough or mental reps that, that guys understand within the infant stages of our program we, we, need, we need. We've got a lot of guys on the field that are going to be playing in different spots. Any opportunity to learn, um, we're creating that type of culture and understanding that you, you just can't show up. you got to make sure that uh, you take any opportunity you can and, 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 and got a chance to learn mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, and so those opportunities are valuable. And then I know with Wyoming, they haven't played, I think, since like November 5th. So... How weird is that taking on a team that has been off that long? Uh, what the? I, I don't know. Weird is right. The only thing really is you don't have much film. If, if they're not, if they don't run, if they haven't faced offenses that are structured like you, then you have to get creative and kind of you, you don't have as much film um, to go off of. So you just work off of you know what what is closest to you in regards to kind of what you guys are structurally, what you are structurally, and, and go from there. That's probably the weirdest part. Is just you don't have much film. Just start playing them in an early season. Thanks, man. Yeah. And to Jason Arch. Coach, based on the film that you're doing up in Wyoming, what do you see from them? What stands out? Uh, you know, an, another another Wyoming team that that, uh, that Coach Bowles put together that, that plays a lot like, you know, a lot like their staff. I know, I know one of their guys on staff. I know plenty of their guys on staff. I know Coach Bowles and his, his resume. Um, they're a well-coached, disciplined, tough football team. I mean, you know, three of the last four years, this team's won eight games plus. So um, their culture is the right way. They understand the resume. Or they play for each other. You can see it. And uh, he's got a good group. And when you have, uh, you know, practice time like you have over the past week or so, do you use that as an opportunity to try to maybe add one or two things here and there? Or are there so many guys out that you really can't do that? No, we're not. We're not at that level yet. I mean, we, we were in addition, you know, the, the, that's hard to do. Hard to install when you don't have. You're teaching basics to certain guys. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Hello, are you good? All right, that's all we got. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Captain.